So we'll get them up here for our second of the afternoon. Hey Carly, Deception Diva, Finkelfoot Fred, born quick. Block it. No, she's got a bit of early speed too, has been uh, sprinting up of late. Monsoon Malabar, Idle AJ. Tiamo will go out wide. A little bit locked away here. Last couple down, we're ready to go the second of the day. Round it comes, set ready. And away. Hey Carly, all right, bit of speed, middle of the pack here, Finkelfoot Fred, and out wide of there we go to Idle AJ, might just find the lead, it does. Idle AJ, hey Carly, whipping round the outside, there is the Bourne Quick, uh, followed further back in transit here by Finkelfoot Fred, it's outside, there is Tiama getting handy, down on the inside, Monsoon Malabar, a length or two, we go to Blocker, followed towards the tail of the field, hey Carly, Deception Diva, off the top they come, and Bourne Quick, round the outside of runners, here comes Finkelfoot Fred, starting to line them up too, Finkelfoot Fred, and diving the rail, Tiamo, Tiamo, then we go to Bourne Quick, Finkelfoot Fred underneath him was Idle AJ, busy in behind a further back there we would have had the Deception Diva back there, Monsoon Malabar didn't finish it off, and the further back there was Blocker, uh, towards the tail of the field there on a crossing uh, got to very busy in behind here, you'll find just sneaking along the rail, the pink rug uh, we'll get up and do the job here, 8, 7 5 and 6, 31 flat, uh, there home in 15 and 34 uh, let's watch some charge here. You can see real squeeze into the first bend underneath. There was the red rug, Hey Carly. And this uh, went on retreat from there. And then just look at this diving the rail. She's pushed home strong to Yama. Uh, there for the Craig Kennels to beat to the seven. Born quick. Look, the winner halfway down. Uh, the five, Finkelfoot Fred. He could have shot at the lead too. And getting home quickly the inside there was a six and idle AJ. Eight, seven, five and six. 31 flat. One and a half by a neck. Uh, the official margins. And uh, the only split they put up was at uh, uh, 15 and 34 there. But uh, 469 goes up as we speak 15.66 home in that 15 and 34. Yep, but back to the 500 metres today at Tiama, and she's got home and got home nicely, really rattled home late along the inside team. And Peter, well done for finding her on the first leg of your suggested quaddy as well, Tiamo. Uh, and the uh, Ben Craig team here and catcher Jordana Syndicate. Uh, they've got hopes later today. Uh, Cameo sit in the cup, who Andy, you've got in, and just one smile on the railway. And uh, the Craig team have won a couple of railways in the past with Sneko and Aztec Karuma. I'm hoping this isn't the only black dog in a pink rug that goes good for them today, Rosa. <laughs> and it may not be. Cameo sit in race nine, the $90,000 Auckland Cup this afternoon. That has been race number two. Daryl, we look forward to our third on the card with Peter still live in the quaddy and I'll tell you what, I think he did very well uh, to get there. Our third is the happy birthday Ryan Roper. It's class four over the 318 metres and we've only got six left now with the scratchings of two, eight, nine and ten. Back with that, 156. Thank you, Trey Veet, uh, the $2.30 favourite there at the moment, Tiamo. First leg of the quad pays $4.80 and the quaddy pool closed off at $1,336. From Manukau Stadium in Auckland, let's uh, go down to Christchurch for the third of the afternoon and uh, rejoin uh, Matt Cross. And uh, Matt, we've got the junior rainsman in action here for this uh, mobile trot. Yeah, we do, Daryl, and we're going to get straight to Greg Hope. We've got a decent interview to hear about uh, his runner, one over to Sky and later on Monbay. Well, she hasn't got early gate speed, so she'll be just, uh, Ben will be just letting her find her feet. Um, obviously, Lone Star Lad's the horse to beat if he does things right. Um, but we're confident she'll go a great race. It's a big step down in grade to what she raced here last time. She ran fourth uh, from the same draw, so she must have a realistic place chance. On to race number four, you've come up with a, another good barrier draw with Spicy Girl Becky. What are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, well, just the timing. We haven't been able to get a trial into her. We feel as though she's probably, whatever she does, she'll improve from. Um, probably the field probably looks a little bit rich on paper, so um, yeah, just take on trust. Great to see him back, Mon Bay, in race number nine. We think back to November of 2016, the last time we saw him at the races, it was a wee while ago. Just give me a summation of, of what's been going on in the life of Mon Bay since then. Well, when he raced um, his last three starts that he won, and I think there were track records and race records, and uh, he actually had um, a cup, uh, chip in his knee, and anyway, um, 
we decided that we'd pull the chip out. When the chip came out, um, the surgeon said that he's got um, he's got deterioration in his cartilage. Um, and he said it'd be good if you come around in 10 years' time, we'd be able to put stem cells in him. Well, six to 12 months later, the, there were people doing stem cells. There were people doing stem cells at that stage, but not a lot of success. And so we've done the stem cell treatment um, on about.